are you ever on like TikTok or Instagram and you see some crafting videos and you say to yourself, those don't, those don't look too hard. Well, today I'm trying some viral crafting TikTok videos that I saw. And when I say viral, I mean, I just saw them a lot pop up like on my page or in my feed. So um, that's what I'm calling viral. But anyway, I'm gonna try those and I'm gonna share with you guys how they turned out. The first project that we have is a bleached shirt project. You've probably seen this as well, where they take a wood cut out from Dollar Tree, they put it on a shirt, they spray, yeah. I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm out here still, and I'm trying to, I'm gonna be doing that viral TikTok, I say viral, it was all over my page. I don't even know who created it, and, and when I was Googling it, it's been around for years, and so, what you do is you take a t-shirt, 100% cotton t-shirt, and then you take one of these wood cutouts. You can use any of the Halloween ones. I'm just using this Day of the Dead one. And you place it down. Now, I did put a um, foam piece of foam, foam board under here. But, um, yeah, you just do that. And we're then we're going to spray it with <laughs> a combination of um, bleach and water. Half bleach, half water in a spray bottle. And then we just let it set. Let's see how it turns out. Now, when I first started doing this, um, I didn't have it on spray. I had it on the stream setting. And so anyway, that created some of these lines you see over here. But already, you see it changing colors. I hope it turns out. See, I feel like it's a little bit um, more spray on this side than this side. So I feel like I need to come in on this side a little bit. Try not to overdo it or get it on myself as much as I can. But it's already, can you see it changing color? Pretty cool. And I've seen people do it with and without a cardboard or foam board in the middle of it. They say to do that because that way it doesn't bleed through, but I kind of don't care if it bleeds through and I kind of want the back to be splattered as well. So I don't know if I'll do something to that later, but I'm gonna let it set out here for just a little bit and I'll come back and check on it in a minute. So the stencil is pretty much dry. So I'm gonna peel it back, not peel it back. I'm gonna lift it off and see how it looks. Well, I mean, it doesn't look bad. Almost looks like there's a shadow there though. I'm okay with that. I did do two shirts and this is how the purple one turned out. And again, I had hoped that it would be, it would have bleached white. So it just kind of looks like, I don't know, kind of like a shadow. I'm not mad at it, but it's not my favorite. This is the other shirt that I did and I do like it better because it did bleach white. I think I need to research kind of like how the bleach is going to affect the shirt color just to see. So I kind of had a better expectation of how it would turn out. But anyway, I like how this one turned out. For this project, you just need to buy some plain white candles like these from Dollar Tree. And when I tell y'all that this is an easy project, I mean this is easy. Now, of course, you're going to need to remove the stickers and then take a black paint pen and draw on eyes. And there's one eye. And there's the other eye. And then you're going to draw on a mouth. and then color it in. And don't forget, you need to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time I share something new. And now you're just gonna repeat the project process for however many candles you have. And that's it. There you have it, ghost candles. These candles are super cute and super easy to make you're gonna probably wanna make a bunch. For project number three, you're gonna need one of these spatula pancake turner things from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a cake pan, brownie pan. I guess it's called a brownie pan. You're gonna need a two packages of these round tin containers. And you're gonna take some red spray paint and spray paint the brownie pans, you know, red. Or whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be red. 
I'm going over these cake pans because there's a couple spots where it didn't get that well and you're not really gonna see that part but it's okay I'm just using this premium rust preventative enamel in the color that color red for the wheels you're going to just spray paint them black and as you can see here I didn't get the spray paint that well so I'm just kind of going around and touching up the spots that needed touching up now you spray painted the top white and I'm going back in with some black paint to kind of create a rim of the tire so it looks more like the, the red little wagon tires. That's what I'm trying to do. I mean, it's not like a question. That's what I'm doing, <laughs> but I may not be doing it that well because I just don't have the steadiest of hands. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to do is just create kind of a black circle around the top there so it looks like a tire. This is the fun part, putting it all together. And so I'm just applying some E6000. Yes, it's kind of a smelly glue, but it holds really well. And I'm also going to add some hot glue to it for an immediate hold. And then you're going to just place this spatula thing face down on the, you see, you see what I'm doing? Just put it down on the bottom of the pan. And now that that's kind of set and it's not fully dried, but it's kind of set, I'm taking a dab of the E6000, a dab of hot glue, and then I'm taking one of my wheels and I'm just gluing it on. Now I'm gluing it kind of an angle, which when you're looking at it like from the side, it looks fine. But when you're looking at it, it kind of looks like the wheels are turning in, but it, it's okay. It all works out. And you just do the same process to all four wheels. The E6000, a dab of hot glue, and then attach the wheel. This is how I styled it for indoor use. And I just put some pumpkins and a little scarecrow, and I think it looks super cute, but I actually wanna put it on my porch so I'm going to switch out some of those fabric pumpkins for some ones that are, you know, all weather type pumpkins. And I was going to put the word pumpkins on the side or like happy fall. And I'd found the radio flyer font. Anyway, it kept taking off the paint and that was just a pain. And anyway, so I like it just plain and I think it turned out pretty cute. Today's video is part of the Heidi Sambal DIY Challenge, and if you've never checked out Heidi's channel, you need to do it. She is really amazing, and she has a lot of creative ideas. I'm going to have a link to her channel as well as a link to the full playlist in the description box below, and I hope you check that out as well, because really, there are so many creators joining in, and we're all having so much fun, and there's just so many ideas. I wouldn't want you to miss a single one. For this project, you're going to need one of those little glass fishbowl kind of things. It's in the crafting area at Dollar Tree. You can also find them at Hobby Lobby, but at Hobby Lobby, they're $1.99. And then you're going to need one of these containers, the one with this specific lid. You can find these at Dollar Tree. And you need a terracotta pot. I got mine from Hobby Lobby, and as you can see, they were $1.37. And then you're going to need some candy of your choice. I chose candy corn. Don't hate. I like candy corn. <laughs> the first part of the project is to spray paint these items black. And I'm going to be using Rust-Oleum's metallic paint. Okay, so what I can already tell you about this spray paint is it's going on okay, in my opinion. But it has like sparkly flex in it, I guess, to make it look metallic, which for this project is not a bad thing, but I guess I was thinking it was just gonna be like shiny black. It's gonna be shiny, sp sparkly black. Now that the painting is done, we're gonna use E6000 to attach it all together. I would recommend taking off that little sticker that's on the bottom first. And then I applied the E6000 directly to the terracotta pot and I have a little key turn thing that kind of helps keep it from being wasted basically. <laughs> but you just um, put glue all around the base. 
And you take that glass fishbowl thing and you put it on top and press down firmly. And that lid is not secure, just kind of rest on top. I first saw this project from one of my friends, Maria, and she's on TikTok. Her name is Brown Eye Mom. She did this project first and she actually used a sticker, but I just decided to use this wood cutout of a ghost and I traced it out and I cut it a little bit smaller than the actual wood ghost cutout size. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna attach that to the front. But using a sticker would be a whole heck of a lot easier and it would fit a little bit better too. And now the fun part, the candy. You just add some candy and then you put the lid on and voila, you are done. This was my favorite project from today's video. I just absolutely adore it and I just think it turned out so cute and it was again another super easy project that anybody can make. And y'all this project cost me less than five dollars to make. Thanks y'all for joining me today as I shared some super easy super fun Halloween DIYs mostly from Dollar Tree and I hope you enjoyed it too. And don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram it's Our Great House but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye!